Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Lone War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Lone War Legendary Iron Man playthrough where we are trying our best to liberate two additional regions, New India and Australia. We got the Grey Knights, uh, led by Hawkbite, uh, the lead Templar of the chapter, uh, who is going to lead his men into 30 to 15 enemies and hopefully a lot of intel to go around. So without further ado, let's join, join the mission and see what we can do. Alright, that's a long, long way. But we do have a Templar, so no way is too long or too cumbersome. Moves to there. Uncle Luber. Let's see if this one here triggers. It should not. Very good. Our other DPS Sane moves to there. Mike takes a high ground as well. And Sonar goes right through the building. Look at you. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do we see over here? Rapid deployment. And that'll be a good start. We'll maybe take out some of these guys. Unfortunately, it will also trigger the loss, but that's a problem for another day. Look at you! Nice position from their end. Is this indestructible cover? Crates are indestructible? No way. Well, I'm not exactly helping the lost uh, problem. Try to take down the priest. <clears throat> Good hit. Miss. Come on, another hit. Unfortunate. Get the Grenadier. Well, we're masters in dealing the absolute least possible amount of damage. Good. I'll ignore him for now. Although we might be able <coughs> to get a bit of damage out, uh, off of him. Just with free actions. Good. Let's try to kill the Grenadier. Good. 
But we do have two actors left over. For starters, full cover there. Just so that he can't move here and find a cheeky angle. And then we're doing all for one. <coughs> All right, that's one action. And of course, the dreaded stupid stasis. That's what you get for missing two shots in a row. There's another pack over here. Gotta be careful. And what we also gotta do is gotta put this out. This is firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Alright, move over. So that you're a little bit closer. Moves to collect uh, some stuff. Amplify. Into big fat hit. Oh, didn't even kill fully. Well, we're going to go into this. We could use Comet Protocol for him. You know what? Let's just do that. Potentially will not kill him. Dasher dies. We're pushing forward because that is exactly what we need to do. The grappler is an absolute menace, so I would like to get him down. ASAP. And of course, minimum damage. He had the best chance from every, uh, from all of them to actually kill him. Too bad. End of turn. Death from above would have helped us. Of course the grappler conveniently places himself over here so that this guy is not affected. Turret here. Those guys are being triggered now. And are partially helping us. Listen. Solid copy. Moving over here. Drop it. 
That's getting rid of one of them. Okay, good to know. Now I need to kill the grappler first because elsewise the stupid reaction um, will always hit us. Alright, for starters, full cover. Good. The biggest problem is we're fighting the losts on top of Advent. <coughs> and it should be the other way around. We should not have to deal with uh, the losts whatsoever. Advent should be dealing with them whilst we're trying to go to the mission objective. But that's unfortunately not how it works. Let's use this here for death from above. Perfect, free reload. Stunning, and then void conduit on the heavy gunner. <coughs> Good, fantastic. We got them. Look, I don't, of course it would be better to be up here, but I think we're okay where we are. Just need to push a bit forward. Target is there, which means if we can get our specialist to here, that would be a good start. Six points of damage, that's fantastic. Their numbers increase. Let's go in with Hogbite first. We kill here, move to there. Before we do something though, let's use all of our free actions. Nice little free shield bash. Now, what you gonna do without cover, huh? What you gonna do without cover? Barely not a kill, but we got two focus. What's our chance of uh, hitting them? 36% uh, isn't great. and. I already mentioned I wanted to get a bit closer. Good, that's implacable. Now's the time to do the move. It's now or never. Implacable after the kill. And we're handing this one over. Strong. 
And unfortunately, we need to double move. Got cyclic fire, come on. Two out of the three shots should hit. Okay, that's a start. That's a start, I like it. Fabulous. You're the best. Look, we could equally move on and just continue on the low ground. Can kill something next turn, then move up to high ground. That could be one option. It is clear. There you go. Uh, we're just going to Overwatch. We still have enough time to move on. And given that this here just ignores armor, might as well do that. We could have killed the sentry, I guess. But that in the long term will be more helpful. That's a pretty tough pack. Just a lot of hit points that are being dropped down on us now. And they potentially took the least beneficial uh, sit, uh, mm, position for us. Okay, let's first of all remove Overwatch. That's not happening on our on our watch. Could move up, double shot it to the face is a valid option. All right, this will trigger implacable. to stand in the open really and the next question is do we want to get that guy upstairs or do we want to get someone else let's first of all see whom we can take Could be a nice critical hit. Or the exact opposite, which is just a complete and utter ignore the fact that I critted, uh, that I flanked, sorry. Moves up. This guy must have almost unlimited uh, dodge. That's crazy.
Amplify is free action. No, I don't want to move further back, that's the point. I would love to be able to see either of them from above here because that would then be really really good it would shoot down get another death from above reset not even getting the turret from there which would likely be a kill Amplifier is a free action. Stun strike to get uh, this guy down. Lightning hands to soften up the mech. And we could kill, which in return could mean we're getting here. And that's a more clever idea. 6 to 10, 2, 4, 6, that's 100% kill, love it. Standing in the middle so that I could theoretically do some full cover. Next turn we're going to see reinforcements coming in again. to do it but I think that is the only valid play just case another pack triggers Four enemies now, oh boy. I need to do that hack ASAP. Okay, luckily we were protected. How do we go about that? I don't like where this is going. Okay, so we have a problem with that whole hacking thing. I'm not sure if uh, the if uh, the hacker will be quick enough to get there. I don't know. Okay, a couple of things here. Anganuba needs to reload. 
Then finish this guy. Get into a really good position up there. We could try to get this guy out of full cover. Chain shot is not ready yet. That requires two hits. Not the greatest chance, but we might be able to at least injure him. Okay, worked like a charm. might trigger more loss okay which isn't too bad because they can now start doing the loss thing the engineer okay honestly it couldn't have been much better than that it really couldn't that'll be one hit if we're staying here trying to see if we can use hogbite in order to then go in and hack next turn the other alternative is leave him where he's at. Hit this guy and move all the way in. Yeah, we can't withstand the reinforcements for too long. been worse they're going for the turret yeah, was crazy amount of hit points are dropping down every single round and I already did what I think was a very reasonable job in killing them every single round but it's not getting better it's just getting worse and worse On top of it, the lost. Nice, the grappler is giving him a hard time before being completely shafted. Okay. Yeah, come on, do your shtick. Of course. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Yeah, the grappler will deal damage unless we find a way of working through that. And I need, I really need to hack the workstation first. But gets extra defense we unfortunately do not have a 
a way to uh, prevent uh, the the rest from happening. I mean, this will trigger. There's the hit. And the kill. Very good. Hacking the workstation. here we're going to evac and hope by it joins us next round remove and cover Like a boat. And What's over there? Potentially another shot. Grenadier could be a kill. Trooper, not so much. Sentry. I think we're just going for the sentry because that's a stupid overwatch that I don't want to deal with. them moves in because we need to attack something next turn for now this guy just does nothing we're immune to the asset so that's okay That's a bit of a problem. My trigger overwatch. What? It's getting worse and worse. Ridiculous movement just to get out of here. <laughs> what a stupid mission. 
30 enemies killed. I mean... Something is not uh, right with uh, the amount of enemies that are coming in. The reinforcements in particular, they overtuned that a lot. It's not impossible to do missions under these circumstances. Yeah, I mean, you, you need to sneak to the actual mission objective and then immediately get it, defend for a couple of rounds. Pfft, I don't know. Saver, great for extra healing. But I think we're going to do fail save for now. Just so that our hacking is a little bit better. Sonar. A lot of good things. Uh, the sting grenades are cool. They are very, very uh, good. Specifically with rapid deployment, I think we're going to give it a uh, try. And blue screen bombs means that the flashbang grenades are actually really good. But I will get biggest bombs as well simply because that is great. Advanced defense, exactly what we need. Okay, cool. Well, 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 well. We now do have both. Australia as well as India ready uh, to effectively uh, find the next mission this year strength 8 which is crazy and this is strength 7 we're going into relatively high strength areas now on the flip side this is strength 0 strength 0 oh no strength 1 sorry strength 2 so yeah Advent knows what's up. Vigilance 17, uh, which helps for reinforcements. Vigilance 14. Yeah, we're getting we're getting up there. So let's get mission two and three done as soon as possible so that we can actually start liberating these areas as well. Which is why we will continue to scan. What I will say is Yeah, it's fine. I was thinking about Haven Advisor and getting a, a scientist as a Haven Advisor, but that's not happening. Look at that, we got a Mac. Uh, if we want to build further Macs, or a Spark rather, it's 80 supplies and an Alarum Core. I think that is definitely going to happen now because we need uh, these guys to come off of our production uh, queue as soon as possible. And if my Warhammer 40k knowledge would be a little bit better, uh, this here wouldn't be uh, called Spark uh, 001, but the name of a really cool dreadnought. Uh, so let's find something that looks menacing. That is good. I don't like the the body here. Why would you put Kevlar on top? Okay, whatever. Um, it's a fantasy game, Saiken. That looks much better and I would like like a really dark and black one with a bit of red. Ooh, I do have an idea. How about we put them into the colors of their respective chapters? So for once that would now be a salamander, salamander spark. Um, and. Oh, that's not bad. Cool. Now, we need to give it a proper name. Nickname Dreadnought. I like 
like that. First name. Uh, they all uh, they all have uh, these biblical names, and this here is Malpheus. And let's say Malpheus has fallen, is reanimated as a dreadnought, and we're going to have our first few sparks with us, which is going to be great. Just need to give them the right weapon, and then they are big fun to play with. Speaking about which, we need to get supplies, but we can do that when the next missions pop up. For now, I wanted to scan for exactly set missions. Let's move to here and scan a bit over there, because I think the pool of missions in Australia is just empty. There is a spot in the officer's school open and that will be taken up by another shinobi. Thank you. Always training those shinobis. Stasis is fantastic. Let's get that one. We're having a well-deserved break at the moment. Not bad. But I'm wondering, where where's all of the action? I am already scanning intensely. I don't want to start uh, doing missions in these new regions. Although, given that we do have everybody ready here, might as well. This is a Strength 2 region, very low vigilance as well. getting some more missions going. And we're good. That'll take a day on, uh, until they can actually start doing intel, but for now we're good. Finally, new missions are coming in. Hack the workstation and we have plenty of uh, time here. Project Miranda, not good because uh, we will, everybody who is shooting will take severe penalties. So we want something with a bit more um, melee focus. Got bond level two. Uh, there are plenty of options to upgrade. The other option is getting um, our prime team into training. Let's see. Wait, wait, a, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. So we got um, squads here. How are we looking? Ready. Need by example. So this year wouldn't be too bad. Russ, Drenks and so on. Let's put Scythe in here. There you go. Um, well, turns out these salamanders aren't ready yet. And if I remember correctly, 
Uh, Taxia was um, responsible for leveling up all of the low level characters. Good, Grey Knights 2 could get the spark then, because they do have a shinobi uh, that can also automatically level them up uh, and everything around, that's fine. Good, Haven Advisor, we can take that one out. Just need a shinobi. And that also looks like a good team, but it does not have a Shinobi. So whom would we take out instead? Question is, what does the next team uh, need? Size of uh, each of them should be around six, two, four, six. That's fine. Uh, scout, frontline, damage, damage, support, cover removal. That's an okay combination. Here we do have damage, damage. Um, the technician is cover removal. Salt is frontline, so we're missing a bit ranged, which means we might want to put a gunner in here or Renvin. That's a, that would be fine as well. I think I would rather take a gunner here. Good. 246, that's good. Um, Blood Angels could do with a good sniper. Or instead, no. Actually, they could do with a good sniper. Who's the sniper here? Euler, together with Igor. No, no, we're not going to unpair them. Which means here we're taking Jim. Very good. All right, so for this one here, I think we have a bit too much firepower and so ranger sharpshooter together already work very well don't necessarily need a gunner all the time but what we definitely would need is a scout of some sort Good, and we're going to use the Imperial Fist kind of as a training ground. Whenever people are a sergeant, they can move on. So we do have, uh, thanks to the time that we now had, we do have a couple of really powerful um, chapters and can start working with them. So do we want to upgrade these two with their bond? I think we could do it. And then the rest is just going on to a mission. How would that go? So if we had those two. Okay, that's directly the other, uh, the other two. I see. 
and the third team would and the third team oh, come on would be where okay that would also not be optimal no matter how I spin it it's never going to be optimal So, I guess since we do have the Miranda uh, thing going, might as well that uh, two of the prime soldiers train with one another, which would leave our SWAT with, like what? Specialist Templar, Gunner and Reaper. Not perfect, but we could add something uh, that deals additional damage and then we're fine. Okay, sometimes you need to do those cleanups. Men, you should be aware. We're detecting lost activity in this area. Our forces will need to be especially vigilant. Clear SWAT and we want uh, the Grey Knights to work on this one. Let me fix this, uh, figure this out real quick. All right, so we put the Grey Knights on this mission and on top of it, I put everybody in the liberated area, New Indonesia, onto supplies, which will give us a huge income boost, even though we're only 11 days, uh, even though we've only 11 days left that'll account for 223 just as an income. We're also starting to scan here just to prep this area and get it uh, going a little bit. But I want to continue scanning so that we get the second liberation quest here. Something just uh, went to 100%. Okay, smash and grab. Still have a couple of days. I think we're good. We're going to just leave it uh, there for now. And that is the next liberation mission. Hmm. Lots of enemies. Command, you should be aware. We're detecting lost activity in this area. Let me just see if I can even do that. Yeah, I don't see how this could be possible. Even with a boost, we can barely squeeze three people in against 21 as a baseline. I think the unfortunate truth is we found this one here too late. If we had a day more, I think we could have uh, done it with uh, five people. Lost on top of it make it uh, difficult. Yes. There is something in the air which will allow us to combat a uh, rush um, on a crit. But that means we're flying down here in an effort to find Liberation 2 down there. And hopefully with a little bit more time left. Okay, well, that is Liberation 2 down here. Three days, seven hours little bit lower baseline but nasty nasty side trips sealed armor vigilance okay we certainly can't just go on this uh, in a stealthy mode let me just check out if we can actually go about it. this it's four people that I could bring I take a fifth one if it is not a spark which apparently is kind of the least stealthy class ever 90% 5 versus 24 or alternatively 4 against 18 
I think these are better odds, to be honest. Get an engineer. If we boost it, we are down to 20% chance of uh, reaction fire. That's not too bad. Yeah, let me let me op optimize uh, the damage pro uh, profile here, and then that's the team that's going to go in. Good. Let's get onto this mission. That will cost us another bunch of intel, unfortunately. I hope we have enough firepower. That squad is good. It's well equipped, but I'm not sure if we have enough firepower. We're going to find out, though. We're going to find out. So. At least level two. Yeah, we already are training that. Thank you, game, for letting me know. Um, so, at least liberation level two is happening there, which isn't too bad. Might as well continue to scan. And. Uh, these here are easy missions, resistance personnel, we're not going to do anything with uh, two, um, well, well, now. Nah. And this just one resistance personnel. Right? No, there is a rookie two resistance personnel and a rookie. Hmm. On the other hand, what can we do with two days? Are we going in under infiltrated? Potentially not. Let's just wait until new missions are popping up. And that is one that we need to do. Got another SWAT here. Ataxia is helping them uh, to to get going. We could we could boost that, but I decide to not do it, and instead we're just going to do it normal. All right, that's the end of today's episode. We're going to do uh, this mission in exactly the next episode, and then hopefully we're going to find a couple more that we can do on our way. Thanks for watching, and take care. Bye bye.